Hi, I'm Augusto Zimmerman of the Heatcraft Visor Ward Alternative Systems Center of Excellence. And today we're going to talk about one of our platforms for natural refrigerants. This is an ammonia CO2 cascade system. We're here now talking about the ammonia, ammonia rack, which sits on the top side of that cascade system. This system is applied at a Piggly Wiggly store in Columbus, Georgia, and we were able to achieve about 70 tons of refrigeration with only 53 pounds of ammonia. The ammonia is entirely confined to the, to the outside of the store, inside of this enclosure that you see here. We apply latest technologies for ammonia DX systems, namely brace plate heat exchangers for the evaporators with stepper valve superheat control to provide a very fine control of the superheat and also minimizing the charge. We use latest technologies in compression for open drive compressors with variable frequency drives. We also use brace plate condensers with an indirect fluid cooled loop to reduce the charge and be able to attain that 53 pounds. Uh, we have an automatic oil recovery system that is exclusive to Heatcraft Kaiser Warren and eliminates the need for a technician to come in and transfer oil on these systems. Safety is of the utmost importance in any refrigeration system, but especially with ammonia, we need to take care of that very carefully. In this system design, we use seal caps for the, any isolation valve to contain any potential leaks. We also have an emergency pressure control system that discharges the pressure from the high side to the low side to overcome any transient situations. All the relief valves in this system are also connected to the top of an ammonia diffusion tank filled with water, so in case of ammonia discharge through a relief valve, the ammonia is dissolved in the water and not released into the atmosphere. In order to attain the highest energy efficiency possible, we integrated into this rack heat reclaim for tap water consumption in the store. So we have this heat exchanger, a tubing tube heat exchanger, for the water heat reclaim. We also use brace plate heat exchangers for the condensers that you can see over there. And we use two condensers in parallel to provide seasonal operation in the winter. Those two condensers are cooled by a glyco loop that is cooled by this evaporative fluid cooler. With a proprietary design of an oil recovery system, this ammonia rack can recover the oil both from the high side of the system after the oil separator and also from the low side. All the oil is then transferred into an oil reservoir and then transferred to the compressors. This is the CO2 portion of the ammonia CO2 cascade system. This runs the low side of the system and sends refrigerant to the store to perform refrigeration. The low temp side of the system is run by these two compressors here on a DX manner with the expansion valves at the cases. The medium temp side of the system is run by these two liquid overfeed pumps. They are 100% redundant. These pumps cycle from time to time to maintain equal run time on both pumps. On the control side of the system, it was designed to use standard refrigeration controls, very common in commercial refrigeration and food retail. This control system bo runs both the CO2 rack and the ammonia rack. This is a pump kit that runs the heat rejection side of the system. It has two pumps which are 100% redundant that runs a closed loop glyco system cooled by an evaporative fluid pool. In order to provide its customers with real-world certified energy comparison data, Heatcraft invested in a duplicate HFC topside for this store. The results were certified by a third-party engineering firm and 22% average energy savings were recorded using the ammonia rack versus the HFC rack. Thank you for watching this video. And remember, Heatcraft and Kaiser Warren are your partners when it comes to sleeping well in technology, service, and sustainability of your refrigeration systems.